It's a grim job, but somebody has to do it. If we can help, you know, bring some closure to family and retrieve their loved ones, then it's, it's a good mission. Black Lab Patella, her handler Jim Hook and rescuer Adam Marlett a part of an American charity. We'll find. They hunt for bodies in the wreckage of natural disasters. I get a hit underneath the ship because it looks like it just smashed everything and I guess one of the guys uh, was saying that his whole, whole family is in there. Today they're down by Tacloban port. As the super typhoon hit, it whipped up a massive wall of water. This is what's left. The best way that I could put it would be the, the collateral damage of the earthquake of Haiti with uh, the water impact of what happened after the tsunami in Japan. It's been a week and a half since the storm, but recovery efforts are only just beginning. The locals have estimated over 100 are deceased there. Patella sniffs out the dead, entombed in the ruins of their homes. Patella, she was started her training from eight weeks old. She's four years old now. You can see the debris, the nails sticking out, there's glass, everything. The dogs learn in their training to you know watch where they're walking. But you know, still you gotta watch for injuries of the dog. She's soon onto something. She's pulling scent from over here, she's pulling scent from there. Police and other volunteers lend a hand. Now go to push from that side. Pull. Grudgingly, the debris is giving back lost souls. Since Patella arrived, she's helped find 100 bodies or more. But behind each number, there's a name, there's a family. And it's a grim score that her handlers say they'd really prefer not to keep. It's definitely gruesome, and it's definitely a rough task. Did you want to pet her? See, she's nice. You can pet her. Yeah. But however rough, life must go on. Thanks to these cadaver dogs, a few more families will get the chance to say their last goodbye. Carl Penhall, CNN, Tacloban, the Philippines.